Jen and DJ here with the Truth Peak, and today we're going to be doing a dumbbell back and bicep workout. So for this pool workout, we're going to be doing six exercises in total, and we're going to do them one at a time. We're going to do three sets of each exercise. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and then in between the different exercises, we'll then take a 40 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to get your free workout routine at AchievePeak.com. Now let's get to work. All right, we have about 30 seconds. Until we get started, if you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now and your workout better not look like Bruce's. Uh, so we're going to go into our first exercise, which is bent over rows. So let's grab our dumbbells and I will demonstrate it. So we're going to have a slight bend in the knees, bending at the hips. Bend over, keep that back nice and straight, not hunched. From here, we're gonna pull the dumbbells up, come back down. Here we go, bend over rows, palms facing us. Here we go, here we go. Good controlled movements, come up, squeeze all the way down. All the way down, let those arms extend. Feel those back muscles pull, come up, squeeze. Here we go. Make sure that you don't have your back bent like this when you're doing it, chest out, head up. Here we go. Full range of motion here. Bruce, we're going to need to stop that. Bruce, stop it. Thank you. Let's go. Get that squeeze, squeeze. Here we go. Come up, squeeze. Squeeze. Last one. There we go. I feel a little heavy. <laughs> a little heavy there? <laughs> there we go. Jen is pushing it today. We're going back into rows. Oh, thank you so much. There you go, you started heavy. Next one, next time we do it, you can uh, go back to those for the second one. Here we go. Okay. Let's go. Come on, good controlled movements. So if maybe this is a little too tough on your back, you could drop one dumbbell, get more of a split stance, and then do it like this. So the hand that we don't, we're not holding the dumbbell with, is uh, on the knee and so this is going to help um, alleviate the stress on our back right there like that there we go get that squeeze i'm back down get the squeeze i'm back down come on last one there we go now i got my left side worked i'm doing singles yeah there we go, going back into our last one here. A bit over rows. Whew. Make sure to keep that back nice and straight, chest out, head up. Here we go, going back. Baby. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Push it out. Come on. Let's go. Good controlled movements, get that squeeze at the top, all the way down, all the way up. Let's go. Come on. Keep going. Let's go. Come on. Push it. Last one. Woo! You said the thing down quick, girl. Alright. Four. 40 second break and then we're going into W raise. So for W raise, you do not need heavy weights. Here we go. So for W raise, what we're going to do is we're going to have them by our side. Tighten this one up so it doesn't make a ton of noise. By our side like this. And then we're going to come up into a W like that. Our elbows aren't going to be super high. So we want those elbows staying nice and low. Here we go. Let's move straight from the side first. A couple seconds till we get started. Here we go. Let's go. So we're bringing it up, coming back down. Bringing it up, coming back down. So we're getting that external rotation of the shoulder here. Our uh, wrists are staying nice and strong, so they're not they're not bending as you come up like this. They're staying nice and strong. The back of your hand should be in line with the forearm the entire time. There we go. Squeeze. There we go. Squeeze. 
Come on. There we go. Woo! Feeling it back there. Going in the set to a W raise. 10 seconds left on this break. Woo, it's gonna be a workout today. All right, here we go. Let's get ready. All right, bring him up, squeeze, come down. Bring him up, squeeze, come down. Let's go. Let's go. Keep pushing. There we go. Stay nice and tall. Come up. There we go. Keep going. Let's go. Oh, that's hurting. Let's get one more. Ah. Woo. There we go. You feel it? Yeah. You're getting the burn today, huh? I'm getting sore already. <laughs> there we go. Going into set three here. It's a good forearm workout too. Yeah, it is. Here we go. All right. Let's go. Ah. Bring them up. Squeeze. Bring them up. Squeeze the back. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Little slow and controlled reps on Project Mass. Uh huh. There it is. Gonna hurt now. Better embrace the burn. I know. That's what it's all about. These are all grown reps. Let's go. Two more reps. Come on. Last one here. Ah. Woo! Here we go. Alright, 40 second break. We're going into shrugs. Feeling good. Mm -hmm. my water. There you go. Alright, let's grab our dumbbells. So for shrugs, all we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna shrug up. Make sure when you're doing the shrugs though, that you're not pulling your head down. Like you don't wanna be doing shrugs like this. You're going to keep your head up and shrug. Bring your shoulders to your ears, not your head down. Here we go. Five seconds left. Try to let those uh, forearms. Relax as much as possible. Here we go. Shrugs are just coming up, squeezing, coming back down. So if you want a little bit more work here, you could do like a shrug high pull, which is shrug, and then pull your arms up, kick the elbows back, just like that. Again, make sure that you're not pulling your head down like this, it's fine to look down, it's not fine to stress your neck. There we go. Good controlled movements here. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. So if you don't want to do shrugs, I know a lot of people don't want to do shrugs, because uh, they don't want to work their traps. You could also do like a Y raise. So it's just coming up like this and coming back down. Or you could do like a bent over fly like this and go in here, just like that. So that's your two options. Here we go. Back, back to shrugs. Come on. Let's go. Get that squeeze, let the shoulders all the way down. Feel it in those traps. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Remember, don't pull your head down. One more. Here we go. Woo. Going to set three here. Feeling the burn, huh? Debating whether to do the heavier ones. Oh, yeah, you got it. You got the heavier ones. You got the heavier ones. You already said it. Now you don't have a choice. I know. I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get ready. Here we go. Shrugs, set three. Bring them up, squeeze. Go all the way back down. Here we go. You know, full range of motion here. Again, keep that head up. Don't pull your neck down like that. 
There we go. Come up, squeeze. Come up, squeeze. Woo! You feeling it? Oh yeah. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. We got one more. There we go. All right. 40 second break, and then we're going into reverse grip rows. So for reverse grip rows, it's just like bent over rows, except this time our palms are gonna be facing away from us, and then we're gonna drag the weight up our thigh. So it's gonna start from the knee, and you're gonna try to keep it as close as possible to your hip up here. You don't want it far out, and then your elbows are gonna stay pushed back. They're not gonna flare out either. And so that's gonna help work that lat muscle out here. 10 seconds till we get started. You look like an old sweatshop in here with all dumbbells laying around. <laughs> I was just looking at that. There we go. Remember, nice straight back, taking the dumbbells up the leg, down the knee, and then up the leg to the thigh. There we go. Keeping that back nice and straight. Again, you don't want to be hunched over like this. Try to push those elbows straight back, palms facing away from you. There we go. Come on. All the way down all the way up, slow and controlled reps, let's go, come on, squeeze, squeeze those lats, let's go, last one, there we go, Woo. set one complete, you feeling it, I'm feeling it, you're, you're feeling it, there you go, Woo. it's all a pre-workout, I didn't even take it, <laughs> <laughs> the condensed pre-workout that I took earlier. I didn't put a whole lot of water in it. Jen was complaining. All right, here we go. Set two. Reverse rows. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Keep that back nice and straight. Come on. Let's go. Squeeze the lats. Squeeze up there. Come on. Ah, let's go. Ah, whew, come on. Oof. Let's go. Ah, two more. Ah, one. Last one. Two. Whew. Woo! Feeling good. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Feeling it. This is starting to bother me. I was about to put stuff, too. Stuff everywhere. A little OCD. All right, we got about seven seconds left till set three. Bend over reverse grip rows. Here we go. So again, for these, if you want to brace your back a little more, you can do them like this and just do one at a time. And then you can switch at the 20 second mark if you wanted. Just make sure to have your palm facing away from you like that. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Well, you could also alternate one at a time. Let's go. Squeeze. Bring them from the knee up the thigh to the hips. Getting that squeeze in. Let's go. Two more. One. Last one. Woo! 40 second break. We're going into hammer curls. It's hammer time. Let's go. What are you doing for hammer curls? This one. Okay. All right, so for hammer curls, we're gonna do our curls from our side, come up, our palms are gonna be facing each other the entire time. There's no wrist action here. Yeah, just like that. It's tough to show that with a dumbbell in my hand. Oh. A little difficult, I think. Yeah. All right, here we go, about five seconds. Until we get started with hammer curls. Let's go. Good controlled movements. Get the squeeze on the arms. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Focus on the biceps here. Come on. Squeeze the biceps. Squeeze the biceps. Let's go. 
Squeeze and down. Woo! There we go. I'm sweating my butt off. <laughs> yeah. I don't have my towel today, so my hands are getting slick. All right, going into set two here of hammer curls. Let's go. Here we go, get ready. Let's rock and roll. Come on, good controlled movements here. Squeeze. Squeeze. So when you're doing this, you don't want the arm coming way out here like this. Then you also don't want it coming back like that and swinging. We're not doing shoulders here. We're doing biceps. So we want that upper arm to stay in the same spot and let from the elbow down perform the movement. Here we go. Let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. One more. Nah. Woo! Woo! Feeling good. My arms are on fire. They are. <laughs> there we go. Seven seconds till we get started. Here we go. Let's go. Hammer curls. Nah. Good controlled movements. Oh, it's burning. If you need to, you can alternate like Jen's doing now. I had to. <laughs> That means you're pushing it. Let's yeah. go. All the way up. Get the squeeze. Come back down. Come on, get the squeeze. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Push it. One more. There we go. Woo. Woo! 40 second break. We're going into hanging curls this time. So for hanging curls, we're just going to take one dumbbell. We're going to get a nice wide stance and we're literally just going to let the dumbbell hang in the center and then we're going to perform our curl like that. So you can uh, alternate each set. So all three sets you do left for 20, right for 20, or you can do left arm for set one, Right arm set two, and then switch on the third one. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start with my left. See how long I can go. Really start burn it out. Right. Just gonna start with the right. Pick your poison. Here we go. All the way up. Get that squeeze. Come back down. There we go. There we go. Good controlled movements. Focus on the bicep. Again, you're trying to let the arm hang to where you're not uh, getting the shoulder incorporated into movement. Least amount of shoulder as possible. Here we go. Come up, get the squeeze. Come back down. Here we go. Come up, get the squeeze. Let's go. Ah, squeeze. Ah, come on. Two more. Ah, last one. Ah, woo! The arm's worn out. <laughs> Going into the opposite arm here. Let's go. Almost done. We got two sets. Gotta get rid of the Halloween this is, candy. This is, yeah, right? Or beer. Yeah. Whichever. Or both. Here we go. Right. Next set. Right here. Get that squeeze. Focus on the bicep here. Let's go. Come up. Squeeze the bicep. Come back down. Try to let the arm hang freely. Come on, good smooth reps. Let's go. Squeeze the bicep. Let it burn. Embrace the burn. Come on. Squeeze. Come on. Let's go. Last one here. Take a breath. Oh. Woo! Here we go. One set left. That was a never ending set. Burn them arms up. All right, this time we're going to switch halfway. So we'll do uh, left for 20 or right for 20, whichever. Okay. Just switch to the halfway point. Because Jen's playing opposites today. So. It's lefty people <laughs> issues. Oh. Here we go. Good controlled reps. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Get that squeeze. Come right back up. Get the squeeze. 
Switch after this one. Squeeze. Here we go. Switch real quick. Why are you so slow? It's <laughs> focusing. There we go. Focus on the bicep. Come on. Squeeze it. Come on. Let's go. Let's get one more. There we go. Woo! We are done. Woo! My arms and back are on fire. The hanging curls where it's at. Get a nice okay. solid pump there. Yeah. All right, if you like this workout, smash that like button. Boom! If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to get your free workout routine at achievepeak.com. See you guys. Woo! Bruce, are you awake? You got a 20 minute nap. <laughs> Good boy.